Benjamin Franklin Unmasked, the Shocking Side of a Founding Father Explore the untold and provocative facets of Benjamin Franklin, a revered founding father. This video delves into his life beyond the known tales of innovation and diplomacy, uncovering startling truths about his secret society affiliations and enigmatic personal life. Join us as we uncover a side of Franklin rarely discussed in history books. Fact number one. The inventive mind. Benjamin Franklin's inventive prowess was remarkable. He created the lightning rod in the 1750s, a crucial invention for protecting buildings from lightning damage. His invention of bifocal glasses came in the 1780s, combining lenses for near and farsightedness, a significant improvement for those with vision impairments. Additionally, the Franklin stove, invented in 1741, was a more efficient heat source that reduced smoke and wood consumption in homes. These inventions reflect Franklin's unique blend of scientific genius and practical problem-solving skills, which had a lasting impact on daily living and safety measures. Number 2. A Estranged Relationship with His Son Franklin's relationship with his illegitimate son, William Franklin, born around 1730 to an unknown mother, became strained due to political differences. William remained a loyalist during the American Revolution, while Benjamin was a key figure in the Patriot movement. This ideological divide led to their estrangement, and William was eventually arrested and exiled. The fallout between Franklin and his son is a poignant example of how deeply political convictions can affect personal relationships, especially in times of national upheaval. Number 3. Bodies in the Basement in 1998, the discovery of 10 bodies in the basement of Franklin's former home at 36, Craven Street, London, sparked sensational rumors. However, these remains were linked to the anatomical studies of William Hewson, a surgeon and anatomist who lived in the house with Franklin in the 1770s. Hewson was known to conduct dissections and teach anatomy, which was then a burgeoning science. This discovery highlighted the lesser-known aspect of Franklin's life, intertwined with the early days of medical science, and shed light on the practices of anatomical study in the 18th century. Number 4. Member of Secret Societies Benjamin Franklin's association with secret societies has been a subject of intrigue. He was a known member of the Freemasons, joining St. John's Lodge in Philadelphia in 1731. His involvement with the Masonic Lodge continued throughout his life. Additionally, Franklin is rumored to have been connected to the Hellfire Club during his time in England, a group known for its controversial and libertine practices, though definitive evidence of his membership is not well documented. This aspect of his life illustrates Franklin's eagerness to delve into the intellectual and philosophical ideas of his era, highlighting his commitment to learning and self-improvement, which were key tenets of Freemasonry. Number 5. Diplomatic Skills in France Franklin's diplomatic mission in France began in 1776 and was pivotal in securing French support for the American Revolution. His efforts culminated in the Treaty of Alliance with France in 1778, a crucial factor in the eventual American victory. Franklin's charm, diplomacy, and the persona he cultivated as a simple yet wise American won him favor in the French court and society playing a key role in the success of his mission. His success in France not only showcases his diplomatic prowess but also his ability to effectively communicate and build alliances across cultural boundaries, enhancing the international standing of the newly formed United States. Number 6. Early Entrepreneur Long before his political career, Franklin established himself as a successful printer and publisher. His most famous publication, Poor Richard's Almanac, first published in 1732 and continued for 25 years, was immensely popular in colonial America. It included weather forecasts, household tips, puzzles, and aphorisms, and significantly contributed to Franklin's financial success and public standing. Franklin's printing business also produced a wide range of materials, including government pamphlets and books. Franklin's success as a printer and publisher underscores his keen business sense and understanding of public interest, exemplifying an early form of creating content that was both informative and engaging. Number 7. Complex Love Life 
Benjamin Franklin's romantic life was indeed complex and a subject of much gossip. While in Europe, especially in France, he had several romantic liaisons and maintained flirtatious correspondences with various women. Notable among these relationships was his connection with Madame Brillon and Madame Helvetius, French women known for their intellectual circles. Franklin's charm and wit made him popular in European social circles, and his personal life was as much a topic of discussion as his scientific and diplomatic endeavors. Number 8. Writing Under Pseudonyms Benjamin Franklin began writing under pseudonyms as early as 1722. At just 16 years old, he adopted the persona of a silenced good, a fictitious widow, to get his articles published in the New England Courant, which was owned by his brother, James Franklin. Through Silence Do Good, Franklin voiced opinions on various social issues, critiquing aspects of colonial life. This early foray into pseudonymous writing showcased his penchant for satire and social commentary. It also highlights his early understanding of how to effectively communicate controversial ideas in a restrictive societal environment. Franklin's use of pseudonyms continued throughout his career, allowing him a unique freedom of expression. Number 9. Advocacy for Education Franklin's commitment to education was evident in his key role in founding the University of Pennsylvania in 1740. He advocated for an educational system that differed from the traditional European emphasis on classical education, proposing instead a curriculum that included practical subjects such as history, science, and commerce. Franklin's educational philosophy was ahead of its time, emphasizing real-world skills and knowledge over classical learning. His efforts helped lay the foundation for the modern American educational system. Franklin's vision for education, especially his support for a more practical curriculum, had a lasting impact on American academia. His ideas were revolutionary, promoting a more inclusive approach to education that went beyond the elitist classical models of the time, thereby democratizing knowledge and learning. Number 10. Interest in Health and Well-Being Benjamin Franklin's approach to health and fitness was innovative for his era. He believed in the health benefits of fresh air and practiced what he called air baths, where he would sit in front of an open window without clothes to allow the air to circulate around his body. This practice was part of his broader interest in maintaining health, which also included regular exercise. Franklin even wrote about the importance of physical activity and fresh air in his writings, emphasizing their role in overall well-being. Number 11. Vegetarianism in Early Life Franklin became a vegetarian at the age of 16, initially motivated by financial reasons as it was cheaper than eating meat. However, his choice also aligned with his ethical views on animal welfare. He maintained this dietary practice for several years, during which he read works by vegetarian advocates, further solidifying his belief in the diet's benefits. His experimentation with vegetarianism was part of a lifelong interest in exploring different aspects of health and lifestyle. Number 12. Experimenting with Electricity on Himself Benjamin Franklin's famous kite experiment in June 1752, where he flew a kite during a thunderstorm to prove that lightning was electrical, nearly resulted in electrocution. This experiment, conducted in Philadelphia, demonstrated his fearless approach to scientific inquiry, albeit with significant personal risk. Franklin's kite experiment was a pioneering venture in the study of electricity, a field that was largely unexplored at the time. This event marked a significant contribution to the understanding of electricity and its properties, laying the groundwork for future developments in electrical science. Franklin's approach exemplified the spirit of empirical scientific inquiry that was emerging during the Enlightenment. Number 13. Advocate for Turkey Franklin humorously critiqued the choice of the bald eagle as the United States national symbol in a letter to his daughter Sarah back in 1784. He suggested the turkey as a more suitable symbol due to its native status in America and its less predatory nature compared to the bald eagle. This anecdote has become a memorable part of Franklin's legacy, showcasing his unique blend of humor and insight.